Hello everyone, I'm Rohit and this is the day 3 of the Integration Hub training. In this day, we'll talk about that connection and credential analysis. Connection and credential analysis is very important, not only for the integration hub, for various projects, various integration, we use the connection and credential analysis. If you don't have better idea what is the connection and credential analysis, I'll show you that all these details in today's class. First thing first we have called analysis. So analysis is nothing but it store in a service now table or it can say that we can say that it's a table where store all these analysis. Analysis we can say the nickname. Okay. So nickname is something called you can put some nickname and inside the nickname there could be a various things. There could be a credential, there could be a connection. So this nickname or this name can be used in our integration. So First thing first, we'll create a analysis. Under this analysis, there will be a connection and then credential. For our case, snowexpertroid.atlassian.com, that is the connection URL. So that will be the connection URL. And then in the credential, we need to be passed the username and password. So username and password is a credential. So analysis or the connection and connection analysis have three components. Connection and credential have three components. First is the analysis, second is the connection, and third is the credential. With the combination of these three, we are going to integrate with our GA instance. So let's go back to the service now instance and explore more. So let's build that connection analysis. To build the connection analysis, you need to go to the left navigation and then search for the connection. So if you type the connection, uh, you will be able to see that connection and credential analysis. You can click that. And then here you can see there are out of box some uh, connection analysis created. Let's say I'm going to create my own. I'll click new. And then here you have a type called connection and credential. So type means that you want to store connection and credential or you want to store only credential that depend on that. So my case is the connection and credential. I'll put the name called Jira custom. Okay. And then here you can see that uh, we have an option called configuration template. So we'll click this configuration template and then I will select that uh, called basic OAuth configuration. Why I'm selecting that I'll discuss that later, but I'll select that basic auth demo configuration. Now, the moment you created this connection analysis, you have an option called create new connection and credential. Simply click that. And the moment you uh, click that here, we need to put this uh, connection name. So let's say our case, the connection name is the Jira custom spoke connection. Now we need to be put the connection URL. So on which instance we are going to connect that. So what is our instance name? Our instance name is snowexpertrohit.atlassian.net. So this is the instance where we are going to build that or where we are going to connect that, right? So for that, what I'll do, I'll copy this instance name. I'll copy this instance name and then go back here and then paste that. Now we need to be pass the username and password, okay? If you see this Jira documentation, what it is saying that the credential should be your email address colon your API key. So username should be your username, username should be your email address and then password should be API token, right? So for that, I'll put my username or my email address here and then I'll put the API token. The question is that how you can get this API token from the Jira. So if you go back to the Jira, so if you click this settings and then uh, if you click this uh, Atlassian account setting, It will land to that profile and visibility page. And if I uh, go to the security from there, and if I go here, call API token, here I can see my API token. I'll click the create API token, and then I'll create new. And then here, let's say that integration hub, I'm putting that integration hub and create. So it will generate a token. I'll copy this token and then go back to here and then put as a password. Now here I need to put the username, which is nothing but my email address. So I'll put that. So you can see that I'm getting an error message called ab action about password value is too long, could not truncate encryption. So this is what I'm getting a message. So let's fix that. For that, what I'll do, I'll copy this 
uh, error message and copy that and then paste here and put that service now in the last and hit enter. You can see that there is a one article for the similar issues. So I'll open that. This is a similar uh, service now. Uh, you can see this is the error. So what is that issue? The same message error message they are getting. For that, what resolution they have provided, we have to go back to these, uh, you know, go to this uh, system definition and then uh, search the tables. So we'll go back to the tables. Under this system definition, open that and then we need to be uh, find out this called discover credential as a name. So we'll put that name equal to discover credential. And you can see that one record is written. I'll open this table. And what they are saying that uh, we have a field called password, uh, which is maximum is 255. We need to be increase that size. So this uh, field needs to be, you can see, needs to be increased that size uh, password. This one, we need to be increased that from 255 to uh, differently. Okay, so let's do that. So you can see that in this table, we have a uh, field called password2. And if I go here, do we have anything other, any other field called password to? So you can see there are many fields with, with that password to. What I'll do, I'll increase all this field length uh, to 1000 and save that. Okay, so let's see, is it saved or not? And I'll just click that save. So it means that all these password to field are there, are updated with the maximum length is 1000. Now go back here, click that create new credential and then let's say that I'll put this name called Jira custom here. I need to put that my URL. So I'll copy this one and paste here called connection URL and then here, here I'll copy this token and paste here and then in the top I'll put my uh, email address. And you can see it's automatically refreshed and it stored a connection. You can see this is the connection it's created. If I open this connection, you can see this is the connection it's created called Jira Custom. This is the endpoint and this uh, pretty much looks good. Now what I'll do, I'll go back here and then under this connection analysis, I'll select this Jira custom one. The moment I select this Jira custom one, you can see the base URL is automatically populated. So this is my base URL, which is coming from nothing but uh, from here. All right. 